everyone today is going to be well it's actually going to be a bonus video and i hope you guys don't mind this i've done vlogs in the past where i know you watch for shopping and for stuff but i'm going to talk to you about why i haven't done or i've been really rubbish with videos this month i think i've only done three or four videos for the whole month when normally I try and do two a week which is what that's like eight sometimes ten videos so I've not done many and there's reason the rabbits are with me I'm in the kitchen obviously and um, I'm gonna bake a cake I wasn't going to but David is actually kind of funny David said to me earlier he was like when is my wife gonna make me a cake we have this kind of jokey relationship don't anyone get offended about you know like I'm not a housewife, not that there's anything wrong with that. You know what I mean? You can get misunderstood very easily on here. Anyway, he said to me as a joke, when, when are you gonna make me a Victoria sponge? And I said to him, well, I can't actually make it for you because I'm missing one ingredient, which is double cream for the uh, filling. He's gone out right now to go and buy it. He's like, you start making it, I'll go and get that double cream. And I'm very honored actually, because then at least, I know he likes my cooking. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna just chat to you while I make this Victoria sponge. Don't worry, if you wanna follow the ingredients, I mean, a, a Victoria sponge is actually very easy to make. Um, but if you want to follow the recipe, I'll put it below in the description. That's the easiest way, isn't it? Preheated the oven to 170. And what I'm going to do, instead of making a whole big Victoria sponge, I'm going to make loads of small ones. The whole reason why I've been really behind on videos, it's kind of, well, at the beginning of February, the first week in February, I, um, I went on holiday with my friend. So every year I go skiing just for anywhere between five and seven days. And I go with my friend and this year we went to where we went to Bulgaria. And we went the first week in February and... It turns out good in the end. Yeah, so we went on holiday. Holiday was really good. Um, and then when we got back, normally February for me, and David for our work, normally it's really quiet. This year, I don't know what happened, but it was absolutely insane. And the minute I got back, I was straight back to work. And normally, I think I've said this before, and for any of you who, uh, if you wanna do YouTube, but you've got a job, um, and you're kind of thinking, how can I do YouTube and work? then I would always say, this is what I did even when I worked in an office, is I made lots of videos on the weekend. I just bulk record. And then if I can, I'll edit them all at the same time. If I can't because I don't have much time, then I just save them all to a hard drive. And whenever I need to do a video, whether it'll be on a lunch break or in the evenings, I'll just edit one together. Now, I, I will say I'm making that sound really quite easy. The videos are quite in depth, particularly when there's lots of cutaway bits. You know when you see lots of product shots of the bags and stuff, that will take a long time to film, cut up, color correct and all the rest of it. So I am making it sound easy. So for any of you who already do YouTube on the side of a job and you're thinking, how are you making this sound so easy? I know, I'm, I know it is harder than what it sounds. Uh, butter, vanilla, sugar. So yeah, then what happened was I got back from um, this trip and actually I'm, go I'm gonna say this. When I went on this trip, my friend and I actually had quite a bad experience at the beginning of the trip that ended up being really funny in the end, but at the time it wasn't funny. And I was originally gonna talk about this and um, Anne Lee at Dior, I told him about it and he said, that's hilarious, you've gotta tell people. But then I told my friend Phil and he was like, I don't know because a lot of people watch you for luxury and it was so not luxury. But I'm just gonna tell you. So we went to this ski resort and guys, when we got there, there was no snow. 
it we went to this place in bulgaria and we were driving up this mountain and normally normally when you ski you kind of keep going up the mountain and there's no snow and then you come out the top and there's snow we kept going up this mountain and there was no snow and then we got to the top where the hotel was and there was still no snow we came to this hotel which looked nothing not even vaguely remotely like the pictures that we'd seen online and we got in and it was just an actual nightmare do I show you photos? I'm going to show you some photos just so that you can understand. For anyone who has seen the film Hostel, it was like that. It was really, really bad. It was, it wasn't so much that it, it, do you know what the problem was? It was really dirty and dirty is an understatement for what it was, that it was just you can see from the photos, uh, it, it was really bad and we were both really in shock when we got there. Uh, anyway, we slept there for one night and it was so bad that my friend, Phil, was actually on the British Airways website trying to get a flight home that day. To be fair, I was as well. Because we're, what are we going to do there for seven days? You can't even ski, there's no snow. And we ended up, we just like kept walking and we found this hotel that's like a, I think it's a four or five star and it's ski in, ski out. And we found the actual slopes that did have snow on them. It's just so weird that the slopes had snow, but no, nothing else did. Um, I don't know whether it was like fake snow. Anyway, um, we ended up checking straight out of the hotel and moving to this new one. And thankfully, we did it quite quickly. I think if we'd stayed there for any longer in that bad hotel, things would have been different because that bad hotel was actually scary. It was, it had, there was something about it. Don't know if it's because it was just run down, but it actually was, had scary vibes. The first night there, I didn't sleep. And I messaged my friend who was in the room directly above me and I was like, are you awake? And it was like 3 a.m. And we're both so tired and it was, it was bad. So, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> such a random situation. And thankfully, we managed to get it sorted out. I was really worried at the time. I was phoning David and I was just like, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, because we were in the middle of nowhere. We didn't, oh, anyway. Then I got back and it was just work from the moment that I got back. And what I still need to do is I still need to block film a whole load of videos. So if any of you have got any ideas, because I feel so exhausted, my brain has just completely emptied of anything. So if there are any kind of videos that you guys want to watch, let me know. While the Victoria sponge the sponges are cooking I was kind of like what am I going to do and I thought I would make my own ice cream using my ice cream maker very easy um the one I have actually comes with this book that tells you different recipes like vanilla strawberry mint chocolate sorbets really good um so what I'm going to do I'm kind of I'm kind of like changing the vanilla recipe a bit where I'm not adding as much sugar because I want to do dates and I want it to be like vanilla, date and walnut and dates are quite um, sugary in themselves. So I've done, instead of, what is it? 150 grams of sugar, I've done 90 grams and just waiting for the cream, the milk. I've used oat milk, by the way. The cream, the milk and the um, sugar to dissolve. Then in here, I've got egg yolks that I'm going to add to it. Now for the next bit. So I've taken all of, sorry, that's Louis chewing. <laughs> Is that Louis? Chewing, Jessica. it's Jesse. So I've taken these all out of the oven. And so we're gonna, that's like the bottom, that's the top. And I've chopped these so they're flat and then they're gonna go upside down on top of those. Just done the jam, I'm using raspberry jam and I've whisked up. Ooh, what's going on with this? I've whisked up this camera. Double cream. We're going to put those in there now. Okay. 
Okay, so coming back to the ice cream. I've made a custard and you before you put this into the ice cream maker, it's got to be pretty cold. So I'm just going to leave it to cool now. And the way you can tell with the custard is the back of the spoon needs to be coated. So yeah, I'm just going to leave that now. And then the dates and the walnuts, which are over here amongst the mess, these you add in, I'll show you later, but when you put that mixture in the ice cream maker, you don't put this straight into the custard. You let the custard uh, solidify a bit and then you start adding it in. Otherwise it just sinks to the bottom of the ice cream maker and isn't amazing. Now I'm just gonna add the, um, the mixture. You know, this machine makes it really easy. I got mine on Amazon and um, it tells you what to do. But pretty much you add in your mixture and then you leave it, you leave the machine just to do its thing. And you'll know when it's ready because the, um, the kind of whisk starts jumping about a bit, but you wanna add your flavor ingredients as the mixture starts to freeze. The mixture for me, I left it in there probably for about 30 to 40 minutes before transferring it into the freezer. And it was really yummy. Okay. 